Hi guys! So it's your girl Pretty Face Ash and I'm doing a subculture dupe um, video. So I'm so excited to show you guys this new palette that I got. It is so beautiful. I did this eye makeup look on it. I'm using it today. And I hope you guys enjoy. So let's get right into it. So I purchased the Retro Love palette from um, Shop Hush this palette right here and so I purchased this palette from um, shophush.com and it's the same thing as subculture even better quality may I say <laughs> I was able to do this makeup look with it I did a um, full-blown tutorial on it so that will be coming later on in the video at first I just wanted to let you guys know of the quality of this okay so if I have to score it 1 out of 10, I would definitely give it a 9. Um, and here's why, okay? First of all, the, the color payoff is phenomenal. So I'm going to do some swatches for you, okay? First swatch is going to be of Psychedelic. Let me wipe off. I have trophy wipe on my hair. Don't judge my life, okay? Rihanna still has my life all in, all in shambles. But anyways, so I have Psychedelic. That is the first one and it's really peachy and pretty. Oh my gosh. Next one is Icon. Uh, hopefully you guys don't mind me getting right into it because I don't like all that small talk. <laughs> Next is Icon. Beautiful. So I'm doing my typical pressing swatches because I hate doing the just like swiping. That's stupid. So we're just going to press. And that one was Hippie. Hippie is like an olive green. So you're able to see it. And then there's Pop. Pop is like a taupe, I want to say. It's like a taupey gray. And the color payoff is not bad. It's very creamy. Then there is Rebel. Rebel is that mustard yellow that everybody's been wearing this season. You don't really see it on my skin tone because I'm kind of yellow. Sorry. <laughs> so it just goes right into my skin tone. But it will work as a beautiful transition color for my um, caramel brown ladies. It'll be a beautiful pop on the more mocha girls and the more fair girls. All right. So now let me clean off my hands. So then we have Mod. Mod is right next to that one. And Mod is more of an army green, I feel like. Really pretty. And we're gonna use Rock and Roll. So this is like our red brown color. It reminds me of the red dirt down in Virginia. Shout out to Virginia. It is like a beautiful red brown. All right, and that was the top row. That was the top row right here. We're gonna work on the bottom row, okay? So, let me clean off and we're gonna start off with a fresh hand. All right, starting with the peachy tone piece. Place that on the back of my hand. Peace is a beautiful color. Or the lid and to help blend. Then we're gonna go in with Flower Power. That is, ah, oh, don't drop the palette. It's durable, y'all. I just dropped it and it didn't break. All right, <laughs> so we're gonna go in with Flower Power. So this is like that beautiful, I wanna say Black China Peach. Whenever I see this, I think of Black China. She loves a peachy color in her crease. And then we're gonna go in with the color Youth. Now this brown is our cool tone brown. And it is beautiful. It's great to use as a crease color or a pretty smoky color. Now we're going to go in with the color Revolution. Our Revolution is our metallic color. It's like a pretty copper sparkle. And that is very pigmented as well, which I really like. Now we're going to go in with Nostalgia. So this is beautiful. Eggplant Purple. Perfect to smoke out your crease. 
then we are going in with fab now fab reminds me of a more orangey mustard type of color it is really pretty and soft you guys can see it hopefully and to go in with free love free love is the color that I'm wearing under my eye and it is a dark green almost reminds me of Mac plumage it is very pigmented and beautiful so all in all the shadows are very creamy they blend and really incredible just that fact that this palette only costs ten dollars from shop hush I'm really impressed by the color payoff and the fact that it blends better than the original it could get a 10 out of 10 for that but I gave it a 9 out of 10 just because I feel like the color payoff could be a little bit better but you know what when I compare it to the price point it is really spot on you know I'm not mad especially because it's a cheaper palette I'm not mad because it's not as um, vibrant as the original subculture you know light but it's going to serve as our transition color especially once I put our darker brown within that it's going to work really well to smooth out the edges all right now I'm going to start building some warm into my crease so I'm going to start going in with flower power so that's this shade right down here and we're going to build that into the crease as well. So we're building up. That's my son. He's learning about his numbers. We're going to be building up that definition with a lot of warm colors, okay? So let's start smoking this out. So I'm going to go in with the shadow Youth. And that's just pretty chocolate brown right here. So I'm just going to dip my brush into this. This is my blending brush. Um, I don't know where it is from, but it's a regular blending brush, nothing special to it. And I'm just going to go into the crease in the outer corner. We're going to make like a little, like a little C, a little crescent type of shape. <laughs> Because I really want to start making that definition in the outer corner and the outer. So, but also in the crease as well. So it's going to be in the crease to the outer corner. So with these shadows, it works best if you kind of pat it and blend because it helps to intensify the color. It's not like how I feel like with MAC shadows and other shadows. Um, with no shade with a little bit better quality. Like meaning like a little bit more high end. Um, I feel like you have to pat it and blend. It'll blend out perfectly and it'll give you that intensity that you're looking for, but you gotta work with it a little bit more. That's my only thing. It's not like you're gonna just press your, you can press your finger into it and get a lot of color payoff. But when you press your brush into it, it's, it works differently. So I just have to um, like pack the color on. You see how it intensifies? I'm gonna go back in with my MAC 217 brush and we're gonna go back into that orange color flower power and we're just gonna blend out that outer corner and the outer perimeters around the shadow so up here. I'm just blending that one out because I want that peachiness to come back into the crease a little bit. And we're gonna go in with that other color called Peace from the beginning, that lighter color just because I want to make it look like skin tone up there too. So this is how you really get that smoothness so it's no harsh lines. Just go in with some lighter colors just to help to um, blend everything back out around the edges. This is my own personal trick. Make sure it's not ashy tones, but more skin tones. See, it's 
soften it back up and now let's go in and add a little bit more definition in that outer V so I like what it's doing right now this would be great for like an everyday look but y'all know I'm extra so let's go in and go in with nostalgia it's like a purple plum so this color right here so I'm using a little bit on I'm using a little bit on this flat brush and this flat brush is a number 15 from Coastal Scents and I'm going to be going in the outer V. It's right in the outer perimeter. And we're just going to add some definition, just a little bit. I just want a little bit of smoke, okay? Like we're going to start a little fire right there. Just a little bit and a little smoke. All right, that's just enough. Just want to touch that outer corner just to give it some more dimension and smokiness. We're gonna make this back to be light. Now, I'm not worried about the shape being too, too perfect. I don't want anything too for wide or anything, but I just want that lid to be light. Cause we're gonna add some more dimension. Now let's go in with the lid color. So there's so many pretty little um, shimmery colors happening on this palette. But one that's been sticking out for me is the color Icon. I love this color, it's so pretty. I'm pretty sure in the beginning video I'm gonna show you sh like swatches of it. It is amazing, 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 amazing color. So we're gonna use this on our lid, okay? So watch this green. In that first watch oh my god all right y'all see that first little dab lord help me please help me jesus just like high high in quality but it's like $12 so it's really good it's not like super expensive so this eyeliner reminds me of Marc Jacobs highliner so this is a dupe for the highliner so if you want something that's waterproof and that's gonna stay all day um, and you don't want to spend $25 spend 12 and get the Sephora brand it just glides right on so I'm using this in my waterline and outside of it love now this green reminds me of mac plumage it's like a i want to almost call it like a teal sewer type of green it gives me like sewer vibes i know that's not a pleasant word for it but it's like it's like a aqua deep green i can't ever it's not forest green either like i always look at it and think of sewer Now, on top of the lid, I'm not gonna do a winged eyeliner. I'm just not. Today is not gonna happen. I'm just gonna do a regular flat eyeliner. I'm just doing a regular like round eyeliner because I really want the focus to be on the bottom 
lash line, not really on the top wing. You get what I'm saying? But for mascara, I'm going in with the Maybelline Big Shot Colossal. And I just build up those lashes. I already had mascara on from earlier today. I'm looking pretty flawless. So this is comparable to the LA Girl Pro Concealer. Um, I just feel like this concealer is actually a little bit more creamier. So I do like to use this under my eye. And the shade that I'm using is the shade 415. Beautiful. So I'm gonna just let that sit. I'm gonna continue to blend it out on the other side and we're gonna buff it in with our foundation brush, okay? I'm down the bridge of my nose, so whatever's left over on the brush. Now, I don't like it to look super cakey. I'm dusting it a little bit on my forehead. I just don't like the main focus to be my forehead because it's already big. We try to conceal it. <laughs> I'm highlighting a little bit my cubit's bow. I'm not trying to do like a Hitler mustache right here. No, we just want to do a little bit and a little bit on my chin. So some people will conceal all the way across the upper lip. You know what? I might do that though. Because I like to lighten that area up. All right, I know I look crazy right now. We are gonna blend it all together. 56 brush. <laughs> I'm gonna use that to blend in that concealer into the foundation now. That is so pretty. I'm just setting the under eye. For some reason, my mini brush always smells like perfume and it's like, it gives me so much life. It smells like flower bomb. All right. Oh, I just love it. I love how this brush smells. Anyways, I'm just going in an area that we do not want to shine or caking. I'm just setting it, okay? Again, using a little bit, a little bit goes a long way. I like how it sets, like a natural set. So this powder will work well with anybody's um, skin type, honestly. If you're more dry, then don't use as much. If you're oily, you can use as much as you want. Don't put a lot to bake. Also, I'm gonna show you guys another, I'm gonna show you guys a couple tricks in this tutorial, okay? I'm gonna go in and set some more with the hourglass and this is the light the lighting palette so a lot of people ask me like what do I do with this palette I personally I'm a huge fan of hourglass products they're just really expensive for me so I have to really like invest into this so this palette it cost me like $62 and it's amazing you get a dim lighting this is the, I think it is incandescent or something. Oh, it doesn't, oh yeah, that's incandescent, yeah, incandescent lighting. This is like exclusive to the palette. And then it's radiant light. What I will be using for my skin tone is radiant light, but my fair sisters, you can use dim light right here. I'm using this to set my under eye area. It gives me a nice glow. So it gives you like a lit from within type of look and I love it it helps to blur it's like an Instagram filter on top so you look perfect in person as well so I put this on top of my setting powder 
and it just gives me an extra glow. I love to glow all day long. I want my skin to just look healthy and it gives you a nice healthy look and also blurts out any imperfection. It's very nice and smoothing. A lot of people don't know about this powder. You need it in your life. Everybody needs this powder. I'm using that same setting brush. And all right, I got an extra glow on top of my setting. So now let's go in with our contour, okay? So for my contour, of course, I'm going in with Black Radiance Soft Focus Finishing Powder. This is my baby. This is my jam. This is in the shade Milk Chocolate. This is my favorite contouring powder for my skin tone. Just because it's not ashy, it's nice and warm, and it's affordable price. So I'm going in with my BH Cosmetics brush. It's an angled blush brush. So number five. And I'm going to carve out my cheekbones, okay? I'm just gonna carve it out a little bit. I'm going around the perimeter. Mm-hmm, honey. Sorry if I'm looking over here. My mirror is right here. But at least you get to see the angles. I'm gonna show you guys a highlighting trick, okay? I'm pretty sure y'all like Ashley, what is up with you and the tricks today? But I'm trying to put y'all on, okay? Now, here comes my favorite tip. We're going to do our highlight, okay? So this is what I like to do for my highlight nowadays. I've been using, of course, this is my favorite highlighting palette, the Glow Kit from Anastasia. And it's in sun dipped, of course. I like to go in with the bronze side, as you can see, because this side is used up. So I'm using my Sephora fan brush. It's the number, oops, number, number 65. And I'm going to just dust that on top of my cheek. In that side, I can see it perfectly. In the light, we don't want nothing too crazy. Soften it. If you ever feel like it's too much, just to mute it some, because I like it. It just depends on my mood. Since it's Instagram and um, YouTube, you know, you gotta be extra. But in real life, every day, I like it muted. So boom, that's the highlight. We're going to add we're gonna be extra. We're gonna add Fenty Trophy Wife. Get your life, honey. Get your life. So we're gonna add this on top. It's so pretty. If you guys have never seen it, let's do a little swatch. I'm pretty sure you should have by now. It's all over. It's all over the internet world. She's so pretty. So we're gonna add her on top of the bronze. We don't want to highlight the forehead too much, especially if we got big foreheads. We ain't got time. I love to highlight the cupid's bow. Just a little bit on the chin. So the blush that I'm going to be using today is my favorite. It's MAC Lovejoy Mineralized Blush. We're going to use this all on the apples on my cheeks. So I'm going to use that same um, brush that I contoured with. I just added it adds some little bit of warm to it um, if you are my skin complexion or deeper you wouldn't really love this blush it just gives you a healthy glow and it looks natural and it goes well with um, gold highlights now let's go in with NYX lip liner and dark brown this have been my jam lately so let me get a little mirror we are going to use this to fill in the lips. Now this part I'm about to be real extra. So remember your black mom in the 90s when she had that really dark lip liner? That is me today. So now I'm gonna go in with the NYX uh, Liquid Suede Lipstick, I'm sorry. It's in the shade Sandstorm. I've never worn this before, so I'm scared. All right, let's go in. Mm. Mm -hmm. 
pretty, pretty pretty. All right. I'm feeling it. <laughs> so this is the finished look. I hope you guys love it and like it make sure you hit the thumbs up button and um drop some hearts down there in the comment section below just to let me know that you guys stuck with me to the end and um definitely thumbs up subscribe follow me on social media you guys i follow back because i love my subbies and if you do follow me on social media just drop some hearts down below too because i love you guys back so yeah Thank you guys so much. Comment down below. Let me know how you guys like this look too. All right. I'll see y'all next video. Bye.